And now it's my pleasure to introduce our third group to be talking about the Keenan Flagner Business School Global Program. But I do want to take one minute to say that I think it was just yesterday, Princeton Review came out uh, rating the online program at uh, Keenan Flagler as the number one again. Uh, we didn't mention that number uh, earlier, but I think it's really exciting because it's, a, and it, it's an attempt very successful one to make it uh, a business school that is truly global. And we're hearing about so many global opportunities and now you're going to hear about a way that we really do something very special for the undergraduate students to make them have incredible global opportunities. I met uh, a number of the students in the GLOBE program when I was on the same trip that went to Singapore but I was in Hong Kong and I think I might have told you I sent out a tweet to Alum just saying, I think the tweet just said, I'm so excited to meet with alumni in Hong Kong. And within minutes, one of the members of the GLOBE program wrote back and said, there are a bunch of students here. Can we come to your party? An hour later, they came across the city and we had a great party on the roof of that beautiful building in Hong Kong. So it's a great pleasure to have you here today. Angela Bond, who's the Senior Associate Director for the Undergraduate Business Global Programs. Uh, will be here to introduce the program and discuss and introduce uh, three participants. Thank you. Great. Thank you so much, Chancellor Fold, Chairman Stone, and trustees. It's really an honor for me to be here. My passion is global education. I've spent the last 14 years working in global education. And when I was here at UNC X number of years ago, I did not study abroad, but I have been making up uh, for that by encouraging students to have this transformative experience when they come to the business school. I've been in my current role since 2010, and in that time I'm very pleased to say that we've grown um, our portfolio is over 30 programs that, that um, I have responsibility for. And when I arrived, 58% of our undergraduate business majors and minors were studying abroad. And I'm very pleased to say that as of May 2016, 74% of our undergraduate business majors and minors are studying abroad. So certainly um, they are you know, having the opportunity to, to experience the world beyond UNC. GLOBE is a flagship program of all of the offerings that we have. It is a cohort-driven uh, partnership program for undergraduate business majors and minors. It's highly selective, and it is a partnership that we run with UNC, Copenhagen Business School, and Chinese University of Hong Kong. Three semesters and three continents. We just celebrated our 10-year anniversary last year, so we're all very excited to have about 500 GLOBE alums um, all over the world. So this is what I plan to cover today, and I know that you do want to hear from the students, um, so I won't spend a, a terrible amount of time going over the pillars and the structure of the program, the evolution, and alums, but I do think it's important for you to understand the structure of the program because it is such an incredibly unique and innovative program that we offer. These are the program pillars. The, these pillars are the, the pillars that we use to operate the program today. And they are the same pillars that were put down on paper um, when our founding fathers, if you will, um, set out to create this program about 12 years ago. I'm going to draw your attention to the second and the fourth bullet here, extends learning beyond borders. I think it's really important to understand that students learn just as much outside of the classroom walls as they do within the walls. And this program allows them the opportunity to spend extensive time living and learning with students from Copenhagen Business School, Chinese University of Hong Kong, and UNC throughout the course of this program. And finally, uh, developing and using teamwork and leadership skills. I had the opportunity to see this firsthand last year, and I'm so excited to share it with you. We went to, this program kicks off every fall at Copenhagen, and the students are thrown into, they, they are all arrived together, they've never met each other before. There's 18 students from each of the schools. They come together and they're immediately presented by a case. So there's a real live case that a company has been invited to write and they are supposed to come up with a solution to that problem. They will present it to the company and a room of consultants. They have a week to do it and they're just thrown into a room and said, have fun. 
So there's hours of brainstorming, there's hours of research, and there's also hours of collaboration amongst a group of people that have very different experiences. So they are able to combine all of that information to present some incredible solutions, really innovative and creative, to the company at the end of the week. So it was really fun to see this engaging and dynamic kickoff to this 18-month program. Here's a bit about the program structure. So the students at UNC are selected at the time of their application to the business school, which would be in the spring of their sophomore year. And then they officially begin the program at Copenhagen in the fall. And they move through just about the time that they get uncomfortable. We say it's time to get you uncomfortable again. So we send them to Hong Kong for a semester in the spring. And then they end their time at UNC in the fall of their senior year. The students that you'll hear from today are three members of the GLOBE 10 cohort that are all studying here at UNC this fall. When they conclude their fall semester here, they will go back to their respective universities where they'll carry on their studies and will graduate with their undergraduate degree. The courses listed here are all GLOBE courses. So these are courses that are put together by expert faculty in the region that all of the students participate in. In addition to the courses that you see here, the students are taking anywhere from one to four other classes so that they can keep track with their business school requirements because we all know that graduating on time is also important in addition to the global experience. Before I launch into the evolution of the program, I'd just like to imagine the world 12 years ago, which is where we were before this program was created. There was no iPhone, there was no Twitter, there was no Snapchat or WhatsApp, there was email and there was Skype, but these individuals at these schools came together and thought there has to be a way that we can prepare students to really be poised to be competitive in a world that is growing flatter and flatter. But they didn't have anywhere to look to because a program like this didn't exist. So would anybody even be interested in doing a year-long program? And what about our calendars? Because, you know, basketball is important here, but so is the internship um, uh, component. And how is this all going to work together? This program was created because of gives and takes and a lot of dialogue and back and forth and change as well. This program was originally designed as a semester at UNC, oh, sorry, a semester at Copenhagen, a summer at Hong Kong, and a semester at UNC. Hong Kong said, you know, this really doesn't, students don't really have the opportunity to experience our great city and culture as much as they do in the other regions because they're just here for a short period of time. And the students at UNC said, you know, that summer internship is really important because I do want to have a full-time job when I graduate. And all of my peers are getting these amazing internships, but I'm missing out because I'm not here. So that prompted a change to the program, which is where we are today with the three semesters. The pre-departure programming at UNC naturally covers things that you would expect, like health and safety, visa requirements, immunization, all of those things. But it is continuing to change. This year, we have incorporated a team building for the UNC students. And we'll also um, be implementing fully the global education model, which is a new initiative at Keenan Flagler. And private equity, which was originally part of the core UNC GLOBE curriculum, is actually no longer offered. Students love our finance electives, but private equity, not so much. So we decided to open up the curriculum and let students take the electives that they were really interested in. And that has been very successful. Another interesting turn is the corporate partnerships for internships. This was originally a solution to the fact that students were away during a high volume of recruiting time. So we actually negotiated with corporations and said, we have these amazing students. You have an amazing company. Let's, let's match you together and um, a beautiful marriage will begin. Um, except that they didn't actually, uh, it didn't work out for either stakeholder because what was happening is that the students were actually probably making a compromise and not following their true interest, 
for the sake of getting the internship. So they weren't translating into full-time offers, and the companies felt that they were back at square one trying to recruit all over again. So we no longer offer co corporate partnerships specifically for internships. What we do offer is that we encourage students to have a meaningful internship between their sophomore and their junior year. Admittedly, they don't, they're not very far along in the curriculum at that point, but we're just trying to get them to have some meaningful experience and develop a network of their own that they can then leverage while they are doing an internship search abroad. The other real, very real change in the recruiting world is that more and more companies are comfortable doing virtual recruiting and doing interviews on Skype or GoToMeeting or what have you. So that has also made it very easier, much easier for students to participate in full-time or internship recruiting. And with over 500 alums, one of the nice things about um, where we are now is trying to figure out how to actively engage them. They, are, they want to give to this program, they want to be involved in this program, and so how do we really um, channel their energy in the best way that we, that we can? Because these people have lived the experience that, are, that uh, we're all talking about. And now I'd like to share with you a quote from Alex Kinley. I call him the godfather of the alumni of the GLOBE program because Alex is a GLOBE 2 alum. He's with Deloitte. He um, has um, connections in each of the GLOBE cohorts across all three schools. He's an amazing networker. He's getting married in December and there's actually going to be um, GLOBE, a GLOBE classmate who's in his wedding party. So I don't think you can get much more committed to GLOBE than that. And this is what he writes. What I have taken away most from GLOBE is cross-cultural empathy and the ability to not only work well with others, but actively seek out and thrive in the face of diversity. Diversity of thought, diversity of experience, and diversity of ethnicity or origin. This human understanding has allowed me to succeed in a relationship-focused industry and also excel at Kellogg's MBA program. My global perspective and ability to relate to my peers, regardless of their background or experience, enhanced the experience that I had and what I was able to bring to my classmates. And so I think what's really powerful about this quote is that we can teach the hard skills. We know that. We know that the, our students need to know finance. They need to know the principles of marketing. But what's really tough is the soft skills. It's the people stuff. It's motivating others, engaging others, and driving performance through teamwork. And this, I think, really hits on the whole totality of the GLOBE experience and what it has meant to this alum. I have two more alumni testimonials I'll share. And I share these because you will have the benefit of hearing from students today, but I also think sometimes it's hard to get a perspective um, until you have you know, a little bit of, of work experience. And so th um, that's why I wanted to share these. This testimonial I thought was really interesting from a class of 2014 Globe 7 alum. If you look at the bold, bolded statement, she plans on relying on the GLOBE program to make one of, to help her make one of the most important educational decisions that she'll make in her future, which is where she goes to MBA school. I thought it was really interesting. She's, she, I'm, obviously she will use the rankings and she will do her own research, but this is um, an, an area that she will use, that network, to help her make that decision. And finally, I think we should call this man Mr. Global. Um, he's Neil Gupta. He graduated from um, UNC in the class of 2002. He's wrapping up his master's at INSEAD in Singapore. Um, and he's currently interning in London. And uh, he's also a Sp he was a Spanish for the professions minor when he was here at UNC. So he just um, kind of speaks to the whole international flavor that this program has given him. He talks about leveraging the network and again as a resource. And so what I'd like to do now is to introduce you to the students that will be here um, from Globe Alum. We've invited one student from each of the cohorts to share their experience with you. And so if we will, I'll start with you, Marianne, from Copenhagen Business School. Thank you so much, Angela. And thank you for inviting me here today to tell about my GLOBE experience. I think I'm just gonna turn to this slide here. So basically this slide shows 
um, a picture of our alumni at our 10 year anniversary last year in Copenhagen. So basically everyone from each school flew into Copenhagen to celebrate our anniversary. And I think this picture, it just makes me so happy to look at because it shows how, how this program really just creates friendships and it creates long lasting friendships. It creates friendships that are so deep and that are rooted in experiences that you have had together in Hong Kong, in, at UNC and at, in Copenhagen Business School. And for me, this alumni really is the most important thing and the most important factor for me when I joined the GLOW program. Because when I started business school, I thought I was, doing a ve I thought I was going to do a very traditional Danish method. So I thought I was going to do a bachelor's degree at Copenhagen Business School and then go on straight into my graduate degree. But actually meeting this alumni and meeting the people from UNC inspired me to do this American model, to adopt the American model of doing things. So I decided that I wanted to pursue to do some work experience before I would go on to do, an, to do my MBA program. So by talking to this alumni, I got really inspired to figure out what I wanted to do and what, I, what, really, what really had my key interest. So one of the alumni from the Globe 6 program told me about his work experience with McKinsey and Company. When he went to Globe, he had a summer internship at McKinsey and Company um, after his first semester at Copenhagen, uh, at he, after his semester at um, Chinese University of Hong Kong, he went on to do this internship at McKinsey and Company before coming to UNC. And he told me how this internship really shaped his future and his future in education and really spurred him on to, to choose some other subjects at UNC that he, he never would have thought he would have done. So I thought I wanted to apply for this as well. And through the Globe Alumni Network, I got so much help. I think I got maybe 15 case interviews by former alumni. They told me how to prep for the behavioral interview. They told me how to prep for all sorts of questions that might come up at the interview. And they also told me about what I really should think about before applying to this internship. So I applied and I actually got accepted, which I didn't really think was possible before going into Globe. And I did the summer internship this summer. Um, and luckily I got asked to come back to the firm, which I'm going to do next year after my bachelor's degree. It is important to take into consideration that in Denmark, maybe only a very few students from Copenhagen Business School actually dares to start working after their bachelor's, because this is not really something that is accepted in the Danish culture. Normally you need a graduate degree to actually have leverage in terms of getting into these, getting these offers and starting to work in these companies. But I think what the GLOW program really gave me was, was this boldness to actually take responsibility for my own learning. And when I went to the companies and said, you know what, I actually really want to start working straight after my bachelor degree, I had some really good um, <coughs> arguments to leverage and the arguments was very much um, founded in my globe experience. So being abroad, learning from different cultures, and also just the maturity that you get by being pushed out of your comfort zone, comfort zone and doing something that you never thought that you would be able to achieve. So I think what is really my key takeaway is that these people in this photo, they inspired me to think bigger, to become a better person, and to really believe in myself because of their stories and their engagement with each other, I got so inspired and now I'm here today at UNC experiencing having the best time of my life, being at an American school, seeing all sorts of football games that I don't even know the rules for <laughs> um, and it's just honestly such a pleasure and I'm so thankful to the commitment of Keenan Flackler Business School and UNC to really pay attention to this program um, because it's really changed my life and it's also changed my career path. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Nicholas. I'm a GLOBE student from the Chinese University of Hong Kong. 
So it's been a month now here in UNC, and I truly enjoy the community spirit here, the Tar Heel spirit here. So, um, well, for me, the most rewarding part of the GLOBE program is, in fact, the abundance of collaboration op opportunities for students from uh, such different backgrounds and culture. We kicked off the, whole, the entire exchange program with the case competition that Angela has mentioned in the first week of Denmark. The greatest challenge at the time is that we barely know each other, and the intensity of the week has really fostered strong bonding among the students. And in the following semester, we have also taken part in study trips to Belgium to study about different institutions of the European Union. And we have formed teams with the Danish, American and Hong Kong students together to work on strategies for European companies uh, on uh, their responses towards integration policies of the U U European Union. Moving on to the curriculum of Hong Kong, we have worked together on strategies for marketing in China, and we have taken part in study trips to Singapore and Malaysia to learn about Asian corporate strategies in global expansions. So UNC is the final chapter of our entire exchange program, and I truly look forward to more collaboration opportunities with the American and Danish students, because these experiences truly allow me to learn more about the culture and the way of thinking, the values of people uh, you know, from different backgrounds. And I've acquired the skill to adapt my working style to people with different traits and, and, and different working styles. And I believe this will truly benefit me in my future career. And I do look forward to more such coll collaboration opportunities. Thank you very much. Members of the board, good morning. My name is uh, Austin Smith, and I'm here representing the UNC students of GLOBE Batch 10. I'm not quite as good at public speaking as Marion and Nick over here, so I have a brief speech uh, in front of me this morning. But I really wanted to speak to um, really the personal development that the UNC students have experienced over the past year on this program. But the first aspect of that development that I wanted to touch on is the newfound appreciation that we have uh, for certain things here in the States and even here at Chapel Hill that we really took for granted. Uh, before we went abroad. Certain things like uh, sunshine, which doesn't really exist in Denmark, <laughs> it's either dark or raining there all the time, or forks, which don't really exist in Hong Kong. Uh, actually on my resume now under skills it has chopsticks in bold, it's like that's a strong part of my, uh, my brand now. Um, but there's also other things uh, such as diversity that we really took for granted. Um, the countries in Scandinavia, although they're impressively tolerant and egalitarian, have very homogeneous populations, as do many of the countries that we traveled to in Asia. And most, you know, everyone you run into day to day comes from similar cultural backgrounds, speaks the same language, etc. And whereas we all sort of passively appreciated this sort of abstract notion of diversity that we knew of uh, throughout our first two years here at UNC, today I think we really actively seek that out. We try every day to engage with people from different backgrounds, with perspectives that, and points of view that are very different from our own because we know that not everywhere in the world has such an incredible variety of people and range of ideas that we're so fortunate to have here at Chapel Hill. The second aspect of our uh, experience that I really wanted to touch on um, was really coming to understand what it's like to be a true outsider in an environment. Um, for those of us that had been part of the quote unquote majority here in the U.S. for most of our lives, living in environments where we were, uh, we generally stuck out like a sore thumb and were often uh, stereotyped. Uh, actually, it was a pretty rude awakening. But what was even more eye-opening was just how often people in the countries we traveled to were extremely kind and willing to accommodate uh, all of us, despite the fact that often they didn't know English and they probably saw us for the obnoxious American tourists that we really were. Um, and I often find myself thinking, you know, if I was in the U.S. right now, or even if I was right here on UNC's campus right now, and the situation was reversed, would I have been treated with the same level of respect and understanding and hospitality? And while I'm not sure what the answer to that question is in all cases, I do know that we all now strive to be those helpers and accommodators in order to pay forward the compassion that we were met with while we were abroad. We've learned that people everywhere are just people before they're Americans or Danes or Hong Kongers. And I think that that understanding is an important part of what having a global mindset uh, is really all about. 
And with that, on behalf of myself and my fellow UNC Globe scholars, I really can't fully express in the short time I have today uh, how much of an impact this program has had on our undergraduate experience, or the degree to which it's changed our lives for the better. Um, we're forever grateful to this program, to Keenan Flagler, and to the University of Chapel Hill uh, as a whole for the opportunity that we had to go abroad and explore the world and come back as better citizens, better students, and better future leaders of business. Thank you. We're happy to take any questions that you may have for Ms. myself. Uh, Ms. Vaughn, if we can ask a question. Certainly. Yes, uh, Ms. Vaughn, I, can you just talk about the genesis of the program, how it started, and what uh, made you uh, decide using these two universities as your partner rather than some other university? Yes, I can explain that uh, to a degree. Um, I joined the program after it had been started for about four years, but I can tell you that this program is created from the roots of the One MBA program. The One MBA program is a global executive MBA program that was founded in 2002, so about two years before, or it launched in 2002, so a couple of years before Globe. And UNC is one of the partner schools. The Chinese University of Hong Kong at that time was also uh, one of the other partner schools. And so that was a bit the impetus behind the creation of the program. The um, European partner in that program is RSM Erasmus in the Netherlands. And um, for this program, we chose Copenhagen Business School to be the European partner because I believe the curriculum was a bit more aligned with what we were looking for than the undergraduate curriculum at RSM. Yes. Angela, I've got a yes. question. Um, now that you have 500 <laughs> alums, round numbers, can you give, for those who are not pursuing uh, their uh, continuing to pursue their education and have gainful employment, approximately what percentage are employed domestically in the United States versus outside the United States? That's a great question. Um, and to be honest, they, they're switching quite a bit. So some of them are, are having a broad experiences, work experience, and, and then they're coming back to the U.S. So at this, I would, ha I would be guessing. Um, I could speak most knowledgeably about the UNC cohort um, because um, I'm most familiar with that one. So of that um, cohort, you're talking about approximately 150 students. And I'm guessing that probably about 80% of those are going to be domestically employed at this time. And then 20% would be either pursuing education or living and working in another country. Um, we have one marriage um, uh, between, <laughs> between a UNC student and a Danish uh, student, Globe student, uh, from the program as well. Yeah. I have a question for the, the three students. You know, one, one thing I just want to say is that this is a truly extraordinary, there aren't other schools that have it. And in no. fact, most MBA programs wouldn't have anything like this, this incredible immersion. But we also heard that even when students are just going 10 miles away, sometimes it's hard to leave your other community and go away. So um, could you just each just kind of quickly tell us how did you stay connected with your community back home while you were also doing this wonderful step into the world what were your especially now that you have all these internet things but how do you actually feel still connected each of you might tell us that that's a very important question uh, i think the most important factor is the fact that you're actually going to go back so you don't want to have this experience and find yourself in a position when you go back that the only friends that you actually have, they live on the other side of the world. <laughs> um, but I think the good part of it is that you actually have 18 students that you are going to be with when you go back to your home school. So these 18 students are going to be really key in terms of your further development and also in terms of your closest friend group when you go back. But in, in terms of keeping up with family and the friends that you also have back home who are continuing to live their life, I think what you really realize is that, at least what I realized this summer, is that things are not going to change that much in one year back home. So basically, things are going to stay the same. You are going to change a lot, but the environment that you go back to is not going to have changed a lot. Um, but I think it's important to keep your environment updated on that. So just making sure that you write back home. Uh, I tend to write emails to my grandparents, and I tend to call my family at least a few times a month. 
Um, and then also just making sure that you are structured in terms of updating your friends. So I have, for example, a list of people that I know that I have to keep updated. Um, and I try to make sure that I do that monthly. So just to give them an update of where I am and trying to understand where they are, I think that's going to help you a lot in terms of, of um, keeping your relationships up to date. Well, for me, I, I don't think staying connected is any big problem because, you know, with today's technology, I basically I can FaceTime my, my, my parents every day. So uh, that's what, what actually what I'm doing now uh, and in, in, back in Denmark. So I feel like, like I mean, it, it's a small world. I mean, even though I'm traveling around, I still feel really connected with my friends and families back at home. And uh, I think it's a great experience, you know, to travel abroad while staying connected with my families because I get to see more without uh, you know, losing touch with my uh, hometown. Yeah, I guess I can speak a little bit to the UNC perspective on that. Um, the time zones obviously make it quite a challenge. Um, I will say, though, that the program provides incredible support to uh, students abroad in terms of getting those crucial uh, junior year internships. Um, that are quite difficult and challenging to acquire uh, while interviewing abroad. Um, we also keep in close touch with our friends, which is especially important in securing housing for senior year, uh, things like that. So, um, but one thing I wanted to touch on is that although we're sort of abroad and in this very different environment, the fact that we're there with 17 other UNC students, I think the program really emphasizes sort of taking the Carolina away and sort of what we've developed here and that sense of community abroad with us. And so, you know, we're, we're experiencing things that are, are very new to us and sort of breaking out of our comfort zones in terms of where we travel and what we learn. But at the end of the day, whenever we sort of would come back and walk back into our dorms, either in uh, Denmark or in Hong Kong, uh, it really felt like home. Um, and it never really felt like, you know, I left the Carolina community, even though uh, I was really just able to take that and share it with people uh, while I was abroad. Thank you. Angela, Marianne, Austin, Nicholas, thank you very much for being with us today. Very impressive.